Hello and thanks for watching this expanded web screencast. My name is Don Campbell and what I'd like to do today is take you through a real quick um, demo on how to change the front page of your WordPress blog. So in my previous post we talked about changing um, the front page of the blog uh, by setting, you know, creating a new page in WordPress and setting that as the default. So here I'm looking at my web blog and I see um, you know the typical kind of a site uh, for a blog is a chrono reverse chronological order of the blog posts that you made. And so just to review what we did is we went in and said let's create a new page uh, and make that the front page of the site so that you don't see the blog posts and it looks a little bit more like a website. And the way I do that is just kind of come in and say add some content, we'll add a, um, an image to it just to get an idea you know, of, of what it should look like. And then I go in and I turn off comments uh, and pings for this page just so that it doesn't look like a blog post and publish it. So now we've got this page called Front Page. And if I then go to the settings in WordPress under Reading, I can here um, set this front page displays to the page that I just created. Okay, And you can also set a separate page to be your blog page if you want. Um, but for now, let's just go out to this website and refresh it and have a look <clears throat> at, at what this looks like. I need to save this, save my changes, and come out. And here you, here you see a different um, view of the, of the site. Now the only problem is it still has the title of this page and it still has this, um, this sidebar over here, which still kind of looks like a blog. And that's where we left off. So what I'd like to do is show you how to completely customize this page. And the way you do that is with something called WordPress um, custom page templates. And what you can do, uh, you have to do a little bit of coding to, to make this happen, but it's really straightforward. So let's walk through that. First, uh, first thing you need to do is, is um, navigate to your content directory um, in, your, in your blog. So where, whatever directory that you installed your blog at, I'm going to go to that directory and then go under the theme. In my case, I'm, I'm showing this with the default WordPress theme. So go to WP Content Themes Default, and you create a new file. And I created this file, and I called it coverpage.php. And this text right here, cover page, that's what's going to show up um, when I'm creating a new page in WordPress in the in the dropdown, saying that this is my page template. So just to give you an idea, let's um, save this file. It has this little PHP comment that indicates to WordPress that this is going to be a page template. And then I've included these little um, WordPress functions, one to get the header and one to get the footer so that our page maintains the same look and feel as the rest of the site. So if we then go back to our site again, um, what we can do is create a new page. So let's go in. I've got one created already. I'm going to go back to Manage Pages. I have this page called the Home Page. Now this page, I did something a little different when I created it. I actually um, used a page template. And from this drop down, there are some defaults that comes with WordPress, but you'll see here's our cover page that we just created. So since we put that file out there in our theme directory called coverpage.php with that header comment in it, WordPress recognized that as a page template. So what's interesting is I go off and save this. Now when I go to back to those settings again, under reading, I'm going to set this to the home page. That's the page that we just were looking at that has the page template associated with it. If I save this, we're back to our site, you'll see that it removed all of that stuff from, um, from the sidebar and the title and everything is gone. So that's pretty cool because now we can keep our header graphic and keep our footer, but we can totally customize what's on this page. Now, if you remember, when we were going back, when we were looking at that home page in WordPress, there was a bunch of content in here. This is ignored. See, that didn't show up on the page. That's because we've overridden this and we've said, hey, we want to use this page template now. So if we want to put content to show up on that page, we need to go back into our editor. Now, just to show you um, an example, I've got some code here that's just a paragraph of text. And this div, um, right here is just from the theme 
that from the default WordPress theme. To, you know, every theme might be a little different, but I just wanted to contain the text within within that so that it looked a little better. But if I go here and save this and pop back over to our site and reload it, you'll see that our text is showing up in here. So that's really the point is that you can really customize this now uh, to look like a regular website instead of a blog. Um, and then you can still have um, your own navigation. You can still link to a page that has all your blog entries, but you can make it look a lot more like a website instead of a blog. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you right away. Thanks.